today's shout out. A grizzly bear is an example of what? You know what to do. Is it a carnivore, herbivore, insectivore, or omnivore? You've got three seconds, go. Grizzly bears eat both plants and meat, which makes them omnivores. That's your answer, and that's your shout out. Out of the wild, grizzlies have to find those foods on their own. But when they live in zoos, it's someone else's responsibility, and they have to prepare proper portions and appropriate meals for a lot more than just one species. Animals that are in the wild have thousands of choices in the food items that they select on a daily basis. When they come into a zoo setting, we have a finite number of choices. Mike Mislanka heads up the Department of Nutrition here at Washington's National Zoo, including the zoo's commissary, one of just a few centralized operations in this country that plans, prepares, and tracks meals for each zoo resident. It allows um, for there to be um, closer attention, um, potentially better regulation on a daily basis of diet amounts that are going into diets. It allows for better health. 13 staffers, two nutritionists, feeding 3,000 animals, about 300 species. After all, mouths like these should be kept full and happy. Karen Kafa, CNN, Washington.